What is up there everybody, Citrus Aviation here with yet another video and today we have the Omaha Epley Airfield model airport update for you for the fall of 2021. And I want to start with this view that you can see right here which shows the overall board that I have today. Here we have the main setup, you can see Terminal Alpha on the left and then you can see over there in the middle near the back is Terminal Bravo and then you can see some aircraft on the main taxiway. This is the setup I've been using for Omaha for quite a while and I want to show a wide angle of it. It's a bit different this time because I'm using NG Models boxes instead of Gemini Jets boxes. The Gemini Jets boxes actually fit the real size of Omaha Battle, but I'm using NG Models boxes today so you'll see everything kind of crunched together just a little bit more than it actually is. But with that being said, let's get started with Omaha Apple Airfield. We're going to start at the Alpha Terminal. As we get started, some information on the Alpha Terminal, it is occupied by Delta Airlines, American Airlines, Alaska Airlines, and Frontier Airlines as the terminal's main tenants. Occasionally, Allegiant Airlines will park over here as well at Alpha 10 or at Alpha 1. Frontier parks at Alpha 1, Delta Airlines parks at Alpha 2 through Alpha 5, American Airlines has Alpha 6, Alpha 7, Alpha 8, and Alpha 10. And sometimes they park at Alpha 9, but that is primarily the Alaska Airlines gate. I also want to thank the Omaha Airport Authority for leaving their comment on my last OMA model airport update. And I hope you guys enjoy this one as I make it the most realistic Omaha model that I can. I want to thank the OMA Airport for watching the video and for leaving a comment. And uh, I'm glad that you guys enjoy the airport and I want to do more with this airport in the future include making a mat specifically for this airport. I have layover layouts doing a mat of an airport that I have in progress. Some of you may know what it is already. I'll give you a hint. It's an Endeavor Air Maintenance Base. And at some point I want to do Omaha as well. The great small airport to fly out of. One that I've flown out of three times before. Flying twice on United and once on Southwest. Another day trip out of Omaha will be coming out soon in December, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, uh, let's get started here with the Axel planes at Terminal A. Over at Alpha 1, we got Sunny the Color Lizard, who will be heading out to Las Vegas. He is here on a turn from Vegas. Frontier solves Denver, Orlando, and Las Vegas from Omaha, mostly on the Airbus A320 Neos and the Airbus A320s. Occasionally, the Airbus A321 will come in as well. At Alpha 2, we got the Delta Airbus A319. He is here on a turn from Minneapolis, St. Paul. There is one mainline flight to MSP a day on Delta, and that is this A319 here. The only other mainline flights to Omaha are all Atlanta. I believe it's two Airbus A320s and one Airbus A319 a day. That is the entire Delta mainline route network that flies into Omaha currently. Still pretty cool that they are getting the baby buses and I look forward to seeing what comes in the near future. Next up at Alpha 3 we got the Delta CRJ-900. This aircraft is here from Detroit. All of the Detroit flights have gone upgazed to the CRJ-900. They've been upgazed from the ERJ-175. Next up we got a Republic ERJ-175. This one will be going out to New York LaGuardia as one of these actually did fly the route today. So I'm going to be using one of these RW ERJs to LGA. Uh, these aircraft also fly to Minneapolis and Salt Lake City out of Omaha. Over here at Alpha 5 we have a CRJ-900 and he is here on the RON from Minneapolis. The Minneapolis RON is a CRJ-900. For those of you who don't know what a RON is, that stands for Remain Overnight. Arriving at the gate, we got this American Airlines Airbus A320. He is here arriving from Phoenix. This is currently the only Airbus A320 route into Omaha for American Airlines. Over at Alpha 7, we have this US Airways operating for American Airlines Airbus A319. This aircraft is here on a turn from Charlotte Douglas. The A319 also does Dallas Fort Worth from Omaha. You can see I have a couple ULD loaders in the position where there would normally be belt loaders. I just have the ULD loaders here just because I don't have any belt loaders right now, but I have some GSC coming in very shortly. they will get to see at the airport soon. Uh, the ULD loaders would not be used on Airbus A319s as obviously they are used to load containers and not regular bags and uh, those containers would only be on 757s and larger. 
Posting from Alpha 8, we have this SkyWest CRJ-700 who will be going out to Los Angeles. This is a really cool flight that American Airlines flies to Los Angeles and I have it here on the SkyWest 700. I currently do not have an American Airlines CRJ-700 so I use the SkyWest one anyway. And uh, these SkyWest 700s do fly these SkyWest 700s do fly on Envoy Air routes anyway, so it would be realistic to see these at Omaha and they do come in every so often. Now usually you will not see a super tug pushing these uh, CRJ 700s that's usually too heavy of a tug for it, but I just have that because that is the tug that I have right now. At Alpha 9 we have the Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-900 who will be going out to Seattle. This aircraft changes back and forth between being a 900 and 800, so I have the 900 today. This aircraft is a fairly recent model. It is the NG Models Alaska Boeing 737-900. It is an excellent model and I'm really happy to sell it here in the airport. Behind Alaska we have the American CRJ-900 who is here on a once daily turn from Charlotte Douglas. Next up we got the return of DHL to Omaha Epley Airfield. This is the DHL 737-400 operated by Southern Air going out to St. Louis. It's really cool to see this flight back at Omaha and it's one of the more interesting aircraft that you can go spot there. I do want to go spot this aircraft at Omaha in the near future so hopefully you can see that coming here soon. Next in line is the American Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the AirCal Retro livery. This aircraft is here on an upgauge from Dallas-Fort Worth. It's really cool to see that Dallas is now getting the 737-800 which is an awesome aircraft and a nice upgauge for American Airlines customers. This aircraft will be heading over to Alpha 8, the same gate that we saw the CRJ-700 pushing from. The final aircraft in the lineup is this Southwest 737 MAX 8 who came in from Chicago Midway and he'll be going out to Houston Hobby. That's an airport I've been to. It's a really nice airport. I actually flew to Hobby on Allegiant but it's a very big Southwest focus city and a pretty cool airport to fly out of. Over at the Bravo Concourse we have Bravo 19 where the Allegiant Airbus A320 is. This aircraft came in from Orlando Stanford and will be going out to Los Angeles. In the background you can kind of see the remnants of gate Bravo 20. I'm not really sure what's going on with that gate. It doesn't really seem to be used much at all but it is still at the airport. Next up we got a gate that is used a lot and this is Bravo 18 which is a southwest gate. This aircraft came in from Denver and will be going out to Phoenix and this aircraft is the Panda model Boeing 737-700 in the heart livery. Next up at Bravo 17 we got the Southwest Boeing 737-700 in the Canyon Blue livery. This is a new model by NG Models and is a really nice plane and uh, we're having this aircraft coming in from Dallas Love Field and going to St. Louis. Taxing in to Bravo 16, we have the Southwest 737-700 in the classic Desert Gold livery. This aircraft will be taking the gate that was occupied by the MAX 8. And he came in from Atlanta, which is a recent Southwest additional route to Omaha. And he came in from Washington Reagan National Airport. In between the Southwest and United gates is another abandoned gate. This is Bravo 15. This was last used by Air Canada in 2019 for their flight to Toronto. It is unsoy when an airline will take Bravo 15, but I do think at some point an airline will use it. Maybe something like Spirit Airlines will take the gate if they come to Omaha, or some airline I think at some point due to the rapidly growing aviation industry will take this gate. At Bravo 14, we got an ERJ 170 who will be going out to Chicago O'Hare. At Bravo 13, we got a Boeing 737-700 who will be going out to Chicago Hill. This aircraft did fly this route recently and it was this exact registration in the new livery. At Bravo 12, we got a 737-900 who is here from Chicago Hill. This is in the special Eco Skies livery. And then finally at Bravo 11 we got the CRJ 550 who is here from Chicago O'Hare as well. You can see all my routes for United today are to Chicago O'Hare and that just shows you how many different aircraft can be flying the same route in the same day. All four of these aircraft came in all on one day from Chicago O'Hare and so you can see quite a few different aircraft flying on many different routes for many different airlines. It's just one of those really interesting things I find interesting is like what aircraft 
does an airline use on a specific flight and why do they do it? Usually it's load factor reasons, maybe people want to fly more at a certain time of day, or maybe there are two flights going to the same destination that are really close together. All sorts of interesting factors that go into an airline deciding what aircraft they use on that very route. So that is it for this Omaha Epley Airfield update for the fall of 2021. I hope you all really enjoyed the video and hopefully the Omaha Airport Authority is watching this one as well. Hope you guys enjoyed it and found it to be realistic to your actual operations. So I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. Have a great rest of your day and God bless you.